to our healthcare system in St. Martin, we refer to both healthcare services and facilities on the island, the ones contracted offshore for our consumers. Where do these healthcare providers rank compared to worldwide standards and to the standards in the Netherlands? The St. Martin Consumers Coalition has been advocating with healthcare providers and with the Ministry of Public Health for the realization of the human rights to the highest attainable level of healthcare in the Kingdom of the Netherlands. Without an evaluation, we already know that they are, we are not at the same level of healthcare as in the Netherlands. To improve our healthcare system for our consumers of health of for our consumers of healthcare in this part of the kingdom and to get it to comply with the highest standards of healthcare in the world, we contacted and requested assistance of TABOS International, an international accreditation organization that is accredited by the International Society for Quality in Healthcare, the ISQUA, and the International Society for Quality in Healthcare External Evaluation Association, the IEEA. The company is based in Germany and is providing accreditation services globally. To allow the company to assist our St. Martin Healthcare consumers better, everyone who has a question or issue with the quality of healthcare experience in our healthcare system of St. Martin can write us an email at consumerxm at gmail.com or they can come to the office at Back Street 148 here in Phillipsburg so that we can help you in writing your experience, your questions, or your complaint. Based upon these customers' reports, we can receive the advice and assistance from demos so that we can address our concerns and suggestions for an improvement of our health care with the healthcare providers, both locally and abroad, and with the ones we are referred to regionally. With the healthcare insurance, SZV, and the private insurance company, and with the departments of the Ministry of Public Health, the Inspectorate of Health Policy Department. We are looking forward to fruitful, informative, an educative relationship with Temos. On the picture, coordinator Dr. Anis Raymond Yisroon with two high-ranking officials of Temos International during a working visit last month in Cali, Colombia. It's been said that behind every door, possibility awaits. How much possibility depends on which door you open first. Every day, we help our customers discover the possibilities in their lives. It all starts with a conversation. Scotiabank. Discover what's possible. GEBE has been faithfully serving the communities of St. Martin, powering your home and our economy. Come rain or shine, our qualified team of professionals are working hard 24 hours a day to provide you and your family with safe, reliable electricity and water. 
We use the latest technologies and test our products daily to maintain the highest international standards. Our friendly staff is always there to assist you whether in person, over the phone, or online. We are committed to constantly improving our products and services, making them more efficient, effective, and environmentally friendly to serve you better today and our next generation of clients tomorrow. GEBE, powering a brighter future. Our friend Mega Wadi is here with tips to save you energy. One, turn your air code temperature up. Two, use a ceiling fan instead. Three, buy energy saving products. Save some green with NVGEBE. Hello, Sir Martin. My name is Jose Helga and I play basketball. I have organized basketball events in St. Martin. Sport matters to me because it makes everybody come together in unity. So I challenge the businesses community to step up for sports and help us rebuild and repair our facility. I'm also asking the community to nominate local businesses in your area to take on the challenge and step up for sports because sports matter. Check out the Department of Sports SSN Facebook page for more information. Hashtag sport matter, hashtag are you in. For the past 18 months, the north and south of St. Martin has shown its resilience as an island and as a people. That is the collective feeling of the people who have returned to our shores since the passage of Hurricane Irma. Today, St. Martin is capitalizing on a unique opportunity to redevelop new economic and tourism models to improve on what has for many years been the top tourism destination of the world. Our commitment to improving our level of hospitality was proven recently by the recently completed Aquila training program, which started with 440 frontline workers. Today, those 440 frontline service providers in St. Martin were trained, which included taxi drivers, tour operators, staffers from hotels, the port, the tourism department, government, and immigration. Our people are the most important component of our past success as a destination, and we intend to continue with specialized training programs to further enhance the service, educational, and cultural standard on St. Martin. At present, 61% of all Dutch side hotels and timeshare units have been restored with final preparations being made for the completion of the construction on the 450 room Planet Hollywood Hotel, Resort, Casino and Spa. The improvements are visible on both sides of St. Martin as our partners on the north side have restored 36% of their hotels and timeshare units and many of the world's most excellent restaurants are back online in Grand Cars. Through our collective challenges, St. Martin, French and Dutch side have returned to a familiar voice as a destination. And as we have already been reaping the fruits of our cooperation agreement, we signed a year ago to combine our efforts towards improving our destination marketing. On arrival, you would have noticed that we are now operating from the main terminal building of the Princess Juliana International Airport. This is a significant step as it has helped us to increase in our flight frequencies and volume of arrivals and departures. At the same time, the government of St. Martin, in collaboration with the management, supervisory boards of the Princess Juliana International Airport, are diligently working to finalize the plans for the completion of the terminal building. At present, we are simply days away from the completion of the end of phase two of the U.S. $14 million roof restoration program as we are gearing up for the return of operations to the remaining parts of our terminal building, which will include USP clearance upon its full restoration. 
Since moving back into the main terminal building, I am pleased to say that we have been able to welcome back JetBlue, Sunwing, Copa, American Airlines, Air Transat, and several regional carriers to St. Martin. And we thank all our partners for showing such high confidence in our destination and our people. Another essential part of the redevelopment of St. Martin has been the diversification and looking beyond existing markets. This year, expect exciting summer and fall packages and deals from our tourist office, as we also continue to encourage selling St. Martin, which in the near future will include extended hours for our cruise ships and the deployment of additional cruise vessels in the summer months as well. We are pleased to be hosting the FCCA PAMAC conference, which will allow our partners to witness that the economic activity that has increased significantly with 279 new registered businesses and over 100 restaurants reopened, and St. Martin has started to attract many major business-related activities and events. Also worth mentioning is the waves being made in the cruise industry. The cruise arrivals has risen dramatically with a recorded 84.4% increase in arrivals in the first quarter of 2019 compared to the same period a year ago. We have celebrated inaugural calls of several ships at the St. Martin Harbor, and we've also provided home porting facilities to services such as Star Clipper, Seaborne, Windstar Cruise Lines, and Spirit during the winter period of 2018. I want to thank all FCC members and its platinum members for enabling us to host this fantastic conference this year. And I look forward to welcoming all of you back to St. Martin time and time again as we continue to showcase what makes us the best tourism destination in the world. How you doing? You busy? I hear just paying some bills, taking care of business. You know what it is? <laughs> I know you're doing your online banking. I don't have to stand in those long lines to pay bills. I can transfer when I want. I can check my account wherever. It's like the bank open 24-7. I even hear checking the statement right now as we're talking. How's Miami? Well, that's why I'm calling. I'm finishing up a few songs now. But I'm afraid that studio time might be more than I thought. And I was wondering if I could get some help with some funds and I could pay you back as soon as I get back to St. Martin. Let me check my account. How much you need? I think 500 should be enough. I can transfer it to you while you're online. Direct from me to you. No problem. Great. Thank you so much, ma. I'll get online with Bib now. Alright, darling. You know who you're for. <laughs> I need to know who you're for. Contact Web today for your complete personal online banking experience. Available for all mobile devices. The Winwood Islands Bank. Now your online banking partner in progress. Who you're for?
One. Two. Three. Four. This is how common it is to develop a mental illness. One out of every four. 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 But there is hope. Today, most mental illnesses can be managed and treated. Visit your general doctor if you feel concerned about your thoughts and behaviors or have some difficulty dealing with some of life's issues. If you have been diagnosed and are suffering from a mental illness, keep in mind these four points to help you manage your mental health. One, get regular checkups with your general doctor. Two, stay on your treatment plan to prevent relapses. Three, find a strong support group in your family and friends. And four, never be afraid to ask for help and looking for the one in terms of your illness. Remember, you are not alone. We are as close as one. Two. Three. Four. Learn about mental health illness by going to the Mental Health Foundation's website at www.mhf-sxm.com. Hello, St. Martin. My name is Stephanie Medina, and I play football with the Walichi Roma soccer team. I have represented St. Martin in many different games. For example, the Dutch Caribbean Women's Soccer Cup. I played against Bonaire, Aruba, and Curacao right here in this stadium. Sports matter to me because it makes me happy, it keeps me fit and healthy, and it is very fun. So I ask the business community to take on this challenge and will help us rebuild our facilities. And I also ask the community to nominate the local businesses in your area and take on the challenge and step up for sports. Why? Because sports matter. Check out the Department of Sport Facebook page for more information. Hashtag sports matter. Hashtag are you in? this was going to be the best book fair. Was, was I wrong? I, I, I really think it was the best, okay? And, and I know you guys are going to say, yeah, you said that last year. But this one tipped top last year, the year before that, and the year before that. Let's ask those invited guests of ours to stand one more time, take your bow, thank you, all the authors, all the invited authors. Please stand. Please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Our St. Martin Athens as well. Please stand. You guys have made it possible. You guys have made it the best book fair ever. Now, I, I know we're going to have difficulty stopping this one, okay? That's no maybe. That's no even but. But it's 2020, 2020 is a good year to come with something. Please grab me a seat. Thank you very much. Okay, I have some thank you to share with you. And I guess some notes, that means I have to follow them. Okay. You know, some years ago, when we started the book fair, it was one of the strategic partners with the tourist office. And the idea to do it at this time of the year was the end of the high point of our tourism season and get people to come during the off season to visit St. Martin. The good thing for us is that the hotel fares are cheaper this time of the year and we could afford it. Okay? So, in doing so, we started marketing the book fair out there to get people to come on an annual basis. And there was a lady who made it her business every year when we was at the tent the 15th anniversary of the book fair, we recognize her. Unfortunately, the old lady passed and she's no longer with us. And I think her name should be mentioned because she has never missed a book fair. And that lady was Sheila Marshall. She's no longer with us and I know she's here with us in spirit because she's always a lover of the book fair. She flew from the United States every year to be at the St. Martin Book Fair. Give her applause for this year. For the first time this year, we had a spelling bee and reading competition for the youngsters. Uh, when I went to the Manjbat Festival, they did it, and I thought it was a great idea. So we put it together. Um, the young lady who organized the one in Manjbat, 
So she would drive all my car with us in my to help you guys set it up, and we, we love that. She was from, she's from Antigua, she's, she wasn't feeling too well tonight, so she stayed at a hotel. Her name is Barbara Arundel. She comes in Mantia Arundel, right? Yeah. <laughs> Barbara Arundel. There's a unique story between the Arundels from Antigua and St. Martin, but I'm, the story is too long. When we get out of here, ask me the story after the day. Um, but the young person who won that spelling bee and and reading competition was the same person. And he's here with us tonight. Mr. Aramis Sa Santos, where is he? He was alone. Oh, oh, here he is. Come, come, come. Just for that alone, I think the book fair was the best, okay? Yeah. The first person I'm going to call is the young man who delivered that marvelous review just now. Wow, wasn't it great? Yeah. You understand what Sal is all about now, right? So let's call Mr. Kimura. And these were, this is a donation, and I, and, I, and I purposely didn't thank them yet, right? Because they have their own special thanks coming for them. K Police come out. You remember I tell you not to go and buy Guavari? <laughs> because the Guavari factory said that they wanted to give you a special treat. And this special treat with your name on it, then you know it's yours. Oh. We had a, we had, this is a lady. Um, we had her too some extra work. She did a wonderful um, master's class yesterday. Um, and we had her on a panel. We had a dwell kind of good stuff. And that person is our Professor Opal Adisa. Please come forward. Before we get to the book fair, before we introduce you to the book fair, committee members, and the hard work they did, we're going to award, you know, every year we get together as a team and we decide who the award, the president award goes to. Between the university and us, we decide, well, you know, this person deserves it for the hard work they have been doing over the years. For the first award, and we always give a token of appreciation and hope, hopefully one day this award would have some money behind it, but for now we can't do that. Um, so for the first one, this one goes to somebody from the team, somebody that is part of us. Somebody has been doing some hard work and definitely have dedicated her life to educating St. Martin with a new institution that she has established called SOAR. Thank you. 
Alright, see you later. It's a K-Men's culture, modern style.